hello all in this tutorial i am going to explain you about a uh, rendering tool which is a part of uh, this particular solidworks where rendering will help uh, to have a realistic kind of effect on an image or the model that we'll try to see now here if you look at uh, before going into part modeling if you want to create some component or if you want to open already existing component uh, before moving on to any of the modules we have to go into add add-ins and here you need to enable or give a check mark to photo view 360 photo view 360 uh, say okay okay if you do this then what happens if you go to part modeling automatically the render tool will appear here okay unless you turn on that particular uh, what you call uh, 360 appearance then uh, this will not be visible all right now here to develop uh, any component we need to go with part drawing simple part drawing with, by selecting any of the planes so as of now for this particular lecture what i try to do is as this is my first video lecture on uh, render tool so basically uh, what i try to explain as you might have seen most of my videos where i deal with many of the assemblies of machine drawing components there i'll try to retrieve one simple component uh, out of eccentricity let me select this nut okay because if the component is too big it will take more space more time to render so i'm selecting simple component in spite of creating it okay uh, you, uh, you could see how to create this nut in my previous video lectures also let me turn off all the planes now this is the component which I want to render and uh, have an effect of realistic kind where you have a glossy finish, you have a shining kind of effect on that particular nut whenever you try to give some material to it, okay? Or else colors to it. I'll show you with materials as well as with colors also. And we can take a printout of that particular uh, copy. That is also possible. So once we are into this, now we need to use these are the tools available. Okay, if you are very good at some two to three options then you could do uh, the best in this particular rendering tool okay now for example what is the advantage of using rendering uh, what is the difference between normal appearance and the rendering appearance for example if i want to give some color to this if i go to metals and if i select steel polishes steel i got if i double click on this now this but polishes steel got applied to the nut but still it is not looking so effective the shiny kind of this glossy kind of finishing is not at all appearing on this particular nut okay but to have that effect we'll try to render the uh, component so that you'll have that kind of finish okay now what i just try to do here is let me go with this particular uh, first option called integrated preview here you could see edit appearances if you click this particular edit appearances also you are going to get the same options okay now edit scene edit scene is nothing but the background of this particular nut will uh, will going to change okay that we can make change that also we'll see and uh, coming to edit decal th this all not required now integrated preview if i'll go to integrated preview it is tall strongly recommend that you add a camera or at least turn on perspective views and all so what i try to do is i'll continue with without camera or perspective okay without having that camera and perspective third option i have selected just have a look wait for a few seconds so that you have a uh, very good effect on that particular component i have applied polished steel followed by integrated preview i have given just have a look at the component just have a look at this particular component and fitting it to the screen this is how it look like okay so the shiny kind of appearance almost we got it almost we got it but still final final rendering is still remaining okay you could see that component clearly all right now what i try to do here is i'll go with final render okay when I, once i click on this particular final render just try to understand the difference between final render 
and before final rendering you can go with render region also i'll show you the difference between these two if i click on final render just have a look you'll get a separate window followed by yeah it got rendered let me zoom it out you could see you got a fine finishing on that particular component you can save this model also fine finishing on this particular component now once i say final render what happened complete window got rendered okay means it is going to take much space it is going to take some much time comparatively so what we try to do here is uh, I'll let me go with some other options let me go with some other options here other than this here you could see different options uh, different image savings here, here it, it will appear and now if i want to go with some other option what i try to do i'll try to keep the let me keep the component in where you could see all the faces isometrically let me go to the option keep it isometric something like this okay then you may have a better effect of it okay let us understand the difference between region and final render before final rendering i'll go to render region and i'll fix my region where it is it need to render okay i'll just fix my region in spite of complete window i'll select a certain region which will help me to render so fast okay so this is the portion which we are avoiding okay and i'll just say final render now have a look at the impact you just have a look at the impact this is how the rendered component will look like okay this is the component uh, which got rendered with polished steel okay so you can save the image also just go to save image and in jpg format you can save that particular image okay as of now i'm not saving i'm explaining you the tips and tricks related okay this is how you're going to get this particular rendering all right now other than this you can go with some other colors also which are very much uh, available here okay you can go with some glossy kind of finishing also to have a better effect to have a better visual effect of the component let me go with high gloss in plastics let us imagine that this component uh, made of plastic i go with high glossy kind of finishing i'll go back to or uh, maybe a different color which is black high gloss plastic double click on it there are two ways where you can apply your uh, you know material to the component just by double clicking on it or else simply can drag and drop it okay that is also possible here i have given some color to this and same thing i do again i'll go with render region okay let me choose half of the portion for rendering okay and let me say final render okay just have a look this portion got rendered okay other portion other half is not at all rendered so that effect also can be seen the realistic kind of image effect you are going to get once i okay this is how you are going you can take a screenshot and you can save it for your documentation also which is very much helpful uh, and once you click on render region back again that window will disappear this is how the component is going to be okay other than this you have many options in rendering in, in my upcoming videos i'll try to explain them all uh, this is all for uh, today's session thank you for watching please do share try more on more options okay try to you know uh, follow the channel try to follow different videos upcoming videos i'm going to share more and more on rendering um, thank you for now